Hello, welcome back to TCG Dreamland. We have Murders at Karlov Manor. Let me move one of the lights so I can get a good screenshot. Bada bing, bada boom, thumbnail. All right, so I totally forgot to grab my box cutter. Can I grab it real quick? No. Oh, wait, yes. All right, it's on my other desk. I have two desks in an L shape. All right, so let me show you. Uh, I knew that there were quote-unquote invisible ink cards, but serialized card and less than 1% of boosters, bada-bing, bada-boom. These have serialized cards, apparently. I was not aware of that until I decided to read the bottom of the box to see if there was anything special about these. And there is! So we're looking for serialized cards here. Very cool. It seems like they're just doing serialized cards in basically every set now. So I guess I should just kind of expect that at this point. They've either got some, they got some kind of gimmick. It's uh oh, I think they're Japanese printed packs as well. So it would be like right at the front if there's a serialized card, I guess. So the good stuff's going to be right at the beginning. Sharp eyed rookie. That is commander, right? I think that's the commander symbol for this set. I have Dusk Mantle, Drag the Canal, Foil Mythic, Kylox's Volt Strider. All right, all the others were just rares, right? Yep, yep. All right, Dramatic Accusation. So now I think it's just other commons and uncommons. Let me put some different piles here. I want to make a different pile for Commander so I don't have to separate them later. All right, and then that's the land, and after the land should just be foil commons and uncommons. We'll just go a little bit quicker through those. Auspicious arrival. All right, next pack. We've got Hedge Maze, Borderless. And another Hedge Maze. We've got some Fraternal Twins there. Very cool. That's part of these this uh, land cycle for this set. Prisoner's Dilemma, Commander, Unyielding Gatekeeper, Foil Barbed Servitor, Murder, Borderless, Showcase, Gleaming Gear Drake, and then random commons and uncommons. Not sure if there are any commons and uncommons that are worth anything in this set. Especially with there being serialized cards in the set, there's going to be tons of these open, so probably all of the commons and uncommons will be pretty worthless. That's how it usually goes. We've got a foil, Rakdos, Mythic. That is... oh! I think that's an invisible ink. Very cool. So you can, you can just barely see it when the light's shining on it just right. I think this is an invisible ink. It's incredibly glossy on the actual picture part of it. It was, it was pretty noticeable. Pretty noticeable. So I think that is an invisible ink card. Very cool. Rakdos invisible ink. And a second mythic as well. Incinerator of the Guilty. Very nice. All right, there's your commander card. Hide in plain sight. Commercial district. Not on my watch. Persuasive interrogators. We've got rope. It's one of your clue weapons. On the job. All right, so not serialized, but it is an invisible ink card. Very cool. Those are, some of those I think are gonna be pretty expensive. Oh, and they put the... Oh, so that means that there's actually foil art cards now. Because for this set, they added... I showed in my bundle that the clues on the back side have the art cards. So in the in the play boosters, there are, like, dedicated art cards. But there's also just uh, tokens with art on the back. Massacre Girl. Known Killer. Mythic Foil for Commander. Cost. Eyes of the Glade. Very cool. I'm gonna put that like over there ish. All right. Prof's Eidetic Memory. Sharp Eyed Rookie. 
demand answers, unauthorized exit, and then commons and uncommons. Oh, what's that? Flotsam and jetsam. Flotsam and jetsam. Jaded analyst. Interesting. All right. Very cool foil treatment on that invisible ink card. We'll take a look at that again. I want to take a look at the condition of it also. Forensic Gadgeteer, Underground Mortuary, non-foil, Serene Sleuth for Commander, Assassin's Trophy, Pyrotechnic Performer, Showcase Culvert, and Commons and Uncommons. All right, hold on a sec. I think I put a card in the wrong pile. There we go. Only Commander goes in the Commander pile. No tokens. Yeah, these packs are pretty easy to open for collector packs, too, which I don't mind. All right. Wojak Investigator. World Souls Rage. That's cool looking. Copy Catchers for Commander. Outrageous Robbery. Foil Kylox. Slice from the Shadows. Expose the Culprit. And here's your... Commons and Uncommons. All right, second half of the box. Going at a pretty good pace here, I'd say. We've got Blood Spattered Analysis. Blood Spatter Analysis. Tesa, Opulent Oligarch. Rare. Hot Pursuit for Commander. Tenth District Hero. Ooh, Undergrowth Recon. Foil Mythic. Very nice. Foil Mythics are always nice to get. All right, Swamp. Here's your commons and uncommons. Cranko, Baron of Tin Street. Interesting. Forensic Gadgeteer. Another mythic from Commander, Morska Undersea Sleuth. Very cool. Oh, a double mythic pack, too. Put these like that. All right. Kylox's Volt Strider. Very cool. Getting a lot of mythics in these. Underground Mortuary, Foil Regular Border, Magnetic Snuffler. Interesting. Its nose is a metal detector. Interesting, not on my watch. And then commons and uncommons. Public thoroughfare. All right, I think all of the tokens are clue. Very interesting. Underground mortuary, audience with Trostani. Right, Havoc Eater for Commander, Blood Spatter Analysis and Extended, Illicit Masquerade Foil, Couple Borderless, No More Lies, Commons and Uncommons. All right, next pack. We've got Anne's Rag. Mythic Showcase, The Quake Mole. Interesting. That's our second foil mythic, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, our third, actually. That's our third foil mythic. All right, Enzrim. Unexplained Absence for Commander. Lost in the Maze. Assassin's Trophy. Makeshift Binding. The Chase is on. And here's your commons and uncommons. All right, we have two packs left. We got that invisible ink card. So I would be surprised if we get a serialized. I'm assuming, why did I do that? This isn't Pokemon. All right, good thing it's just a common at the back. Tesa, Opulent Oligarch and Foil Showcase. Lush Portico, Borderless, very nice looking card. Got Watcher of Hours, Commander, Mythic, Expedited Inheritance. I guess that's one way to put it. Expedited Inheritance. All right. 
Case of the Crimson Pulse. Expose the Culprit, Magnetic Snuffler, and we are now on to the last pack. And then we'll take a look at that Invisible Ink card again, because that's really cool. Rakdos, Patron of Chaos, Invisible Ink. All right, Thopter, Anzrag's Rampage. All right, so no serialized. Vanifar, Evolved Enigma, another mythic though, very nice. Uh, Tessac for Commander. Barbed Servitor, Forensic Gadgeteer and Foil. We've got Deduce and On the Job, Borderless. And that's gonna do it for this box. Let's take a look, we've gotten 10 yeah, 10. So two Mythics from Commander, one of them Foil. Eight Mythics just from, like, the regular stuff of, across, you know, Foil, Extended, and, you know, stuff like that, Showcase. And then we got this one Invisible Ink card. So, like, you have to get the light on it just right in order to see those little things on it. You got, like, the wing there, and you got some... What, chains there? Very Rakdos Invisible Ink stuff on there. Very cool. And then the foil treatment is extremely glossy. These are really good looking cards, actually. I was not, I did not know what to expect, and I am pleasantly surprised. I am very pleased with how these look. It's extremely glossy. Let's take a look at the condition. Very good condition as well. I mean, they are packs printed in Japan, so you would expect that condition to be good. So, very nice. Invisible ink in our first box. Very cool. I have two more collector boxes coming up, so make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys then.